Okay, so here we go. I'm uh, starting in on the 4762 build. This is the uh, Atherin Genesis uh, Genesis or Generation 1 um, GP382W. And um, I'll just pull the cap off here, shell off. So this is how it looks. It's got the Tsunami 1 decoder. Um, and it's got the 1.5 volt um, grain of rice bulbs all throughout. So that's all going to come out. And the way I'm starting is I'm, I've broken off some pieces of um, plexiglass and I'm starting to file them down. And this is going to be the, the light tube for the front. Um, what do you call them? Front number boards. So those are going to come out. And then those tubes are going to get inserted. So anybody who's seen an Atlas um, setup is going to be kind of similar to that. So I got to do front and rear, and uh, then renumber it to four seven six two. So that's the first step. And I guess if I'm successful at that, I'm going to install the decoder, and um, we'll see how we go from there. All right, stay tuned. I just spent the last 45 minutes getting this thing apart. Um, it was not easy. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever taken apart a Genesis locomotive, but I needed that cabin uh, off in one piece so I could start getting access to it. And the entire thing was glued. So all the tabs here, you can see little slots. The tabs on the long hood were all glued. And then the cab was glued to the long hood. Plus you got these uh, fancy wires here that you got to deal with. So this was kind of cool. I just, I uh, plopped it out of the uh, bell and then I threaded it through this little eyelet here. So when I put it back together, I got to thread it through and luckily enough, it's flexible. Um, so I'm just going to leave that um, conduit there. Be very careful with it. The other thing I've got on here is those two steps. They're very delicate. So you got to be careful with those when I paint. And obviously the fans I gotta be careful with too, but the, um, the cab interior came out nicely, just one screw. Um, the ditch lights were a pain, getting the grain of wheat bulbs out of there. Um, anything, everything's in my box here. I always keep everything in the box. And then, so this is what's gonna happen. I've got my scale trains motherboard here. And unfortunately, I've got those two, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I've got these two um, capacitors here that are going to get in the way. Uh, there's no room for them. So what I'm going to have to do is unsolder them from the board. And what I figured I'm going to do is put uh, one each left and right underneath the, uh, I guess, the hood here. Not in the cab, but underneath the hood. So either side of that uh, screw hole. And that's where they're going to sit. So that's my plan. Um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, I think. But uh, I'm going to keep the speaker. I like these speakers. They got a nice big, um, big bit of volume in here. They sound nice and deep. And I got to do a mount for the uh, decoder. And I got to, um, I guess I got to work the frame here a bit. I got to take this nub off here so it's flat. So that's going to come off. So the board fits on here nicely. And. Uh, I guess I'm into it now. I can't uh, can't go back. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. 